championship game of the 1985 NKU Perkins Classic. Northern Kentucky in control. The point guard is Melissa Wood. She's an exciting player. Amy Falk, go forward. Inside to Pam King, and a jump ball is called before King could make her power move in the middle. Joe Hummel and Deb Gentili are referees. Pam King against the Number forward for Grand Valley State, Rose Antrim. She was an All-American as a freshman and has the potential to be just that again. Here is a sophomore. Saved inbounds nicely by Northern. Good save by Amy Fall. Wes, I think a deciding factor in this game is who's going to play defense. Because in and out both for teams are very, very explosive <laughs> offensively. And whichever team's going to come and be able to stop the other from scoring, it, it's going to make a difference. And I think both teams uh, are really proud of the defensive effort they put forth so far this season. Pat Baker of Grand Valley State says for the first time in several years, she has a team that uh, wants to play defense hard for 40 minutes. Here we had a jump ball, now a turnover, giving the ball back to Northern Kentucky, pressured by defense. Right. Both teams are very similar. They've got good athletes, exciting players, and the de deciding factor, I think, will be defensively. Who's going to be able to stop, like, number 24, Rose Atrium? Um, who's going to be able to stop Pam King for Northern in the middle? It, it's just, that's going to be the deciding factor, I think. We're scoreless. A minute gone by in the championship game. Sandy Lee trying to crack the scoring ice. Out of bounds to Grand Valley State. Sandy's taken two nice shots about uh, five or ten feet from the basket, and they're open shots. They're just not falling for her right now. Grand Valley with a 6'1 sophomore center, Sue Polis. The guards, Tracy Bird, Jill Meerman. This is Rose Antrim, as I said, an All-American as a freshman forward, averaging 20 points and four rebounds a game. And that was interesting because last night when I saw her play, there wasn't anyone who was really playing a man-to-man -man defense on her. And that time, Sandy Lee had her hand in her face, and she still scored. So I was interested to see if she was going to be able to score against anyone that really did play any defense on her, and she just showed me she could. Rita Eggleston on the low post. The junior from Independence averaging five points a game and ties it up for Northern Kentucky. It's 2-2. Hopefully Rita's scoring average is going to go up after this tournament. She's been needing to look to score, and she's been doing it in this tournament, and that's a good sign for Coach Winston. And Rita comes away with a rebound there. She looks to be playing with a little more confidence than her first two seasons at Northern Kentucky, and Pam King gives Northern Kentucky the lead. Pam averaging 17 points a game for the Lady Norse and assuming a little bit of a leadership role with the graduation of a couple of key seniors last year. That wasn't a very good shot by number 41, uh, Marianne Scott. She kind of half hooked it, wasn't square to the basket at all. Falk looks inside, hits Pam King on the turnaround. Lady Norse leading 6-2 over Grand Valley State, the 17-minute mark of the first half. Tracy Bird, they call her T-Bird on the Lakers. And there's the T-Bird off the left wing. Averages. Grand Valley showing some patience there. Because Northern was playing good defense on 24 and on number 11. They're two good shooters. That went off the foot of Rose Antrim. Let's check the defense. What are both teams doing defensively in the first couple of minutes? Man to man, and that's a good sign. That's what you want. Northern doesn't like to play zone. They, she likes to go heads up with it man to man. Pam King maintains control. Low post to Rita Eggleston. No shot. Slissa Wood and Tracy Bird. Tracy Bird's playing good defense on Lissa Wood. Amy Falk on the miss. Antrim comes out of there with the rebound. Six to four. Northern Kentucky leading well, Grand Valley get on State. Her. They can't let her shoot. That's exactly why Jill Meerman averages five points a game, but she's a good outside shooter. Yeah. Last night, she was 6 of 14, 13 points. 
This foul is being called on Tracy Bird. That's her first personal and the first of the game. Tracy Bird. It's Pam King inbounds on the far side. Got to admire the ball handling skills of Melissa Wood. She goes behind the back as if uh, she could do it with her eyes closed. Northern misses a shot. Here comes Meerman. A feed down low to the center, Sue Polo. She's blocked by Rita Eggleston, at least partially blocked. Looks like a reaching foul on number 12. And uh, Bird. she picks up two quick fouls in about 30 that seconds. Foul. Tracy Bird. Tracy Bird of Grand Valley State. That's her second. Second team foul on Grand Valley State. Northern Kentucky yet to commit a foul. There's Coach Mike Bikesell, the men's team for Northern Kentucky, heading down in uh, just a few minutes to Bellarmine. They play an away game tonight, a conference game. Here comes Grand Valley State attempting to take the first lead. Antrim on a miss. Bird, a 5-5 player in there, gets a rebound, misses the shot. Here comes Pam King. Lady Norse with the rebound. 14.50 left in the first half. Northern Kentucky six, Grand Valley State six, championship of the NKU Perkins Classic. Grand Valley State seven and one, NKU five and one, and Pam King showing a second nice move on the turnaround. King is getting open underneath. She's taken one step to her right after she receives a pass, and, and then she's getting she, the shot hasn't fallen every time. Here's Take nice away steal. by Northern Steel leader Melissa Wood, fouled before the shot, or maybe in the act of shooting. In the act, I think. Rough. That should be the third foul on Tracy Bird. I think that they will go for a quick substitution, and that coach Pat Baker does. Jenny Butchart, a six foot sophomore from Grant, Michigan. And this Grand Valley State School is based in Allendale, Michigan. They're a member of the Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. Northern Kentucky in their first full year of full fledged membership in the Great Lakes Valley Conference. The Great Lakes Valley Conference has an automatic qualifier into the national tournament, both men and women, whereas the GLIAC does not have an automatic qualifier for either of the men or the women into the national tournament, NCAA Division II. Melissa Wood, an excellent free throw shooter so far this year at 88%, cans two and it's 10 to six. And shooting from long range and missing there is Jill Meerman. And we have a foul underneath. Looks like it's on Rita Eggleston. She must have got her hand on her arm, the shooter's arm. And it is on Eggleston, her first. Coach Nancy Winstow in her third year succeeding Jane Meyer, 41 and 21. Not a bad percentage. No. <laughs> it's been to the national tournament. It's done well. Jenny Butchard at the line for the Lakers. In the first eight games, she's a 71% free throw shooter. And it stays 10-7. No variation in the defense. It's yeah. been man-to-man -man all the way. Melissa Wood dialing long distance, not hitting. And she's scrapping for her own rebound, and she's got it. It'll stay with Northern Kentucky. A slight adjustment by Graham Valley. It looked like they were trying to sag a little bit more and help on the inside on Pam King. And that should open it up for Melissa Wood a little bit and Amy Falk. So it'll be interesting to see if Northern adjusts from an offensive standpoint. Falk looking inside. Pam King trying to get open. Cross court to Melissa Wood. She's 0 for 2. But when she gets in a streak, just watch out. Yeah, right. 